multilin and it will provide you the information. You can also filter your uh, relay uh, based on a specific function. Could be a motor protection, general protection, or you can look at the actual overcurrent function or overload and so forth functions in the, within the relay. But for this case, we just want to show all. And I would want to select, a, let's say, a 7, um, let's say, select a newer relay, F60, which is a feeder protection used for control, monitoring, and metering. And it also shows you the function within that relay that is provided. It's an overcurrent function for the purpose of our study, and it's a UR F60. So once I select this uh, library from, um, from my QuickPick library, uh, it will provide me the overcurrent settings and the instantaneous settings, as well as the, all the trip elements within that relay. In this case, this particular relay is a multifunctional or multi-trip element relay, which has phase, neutral, ground, and negative sequence. So let's uh, uh, look at the phase for now. Uh, we pro have given by the manufacturer a number of curves that we can select from. So we can select, let's say, IEC, IAC inverse, which is IAC stand G standards uh, curve, which follow the ANSI standards. Uh, the pickup ranges, the pickup uh, um, value, which you can type in directly in here. Let's say we type in five, and a specific time dial within the range of that. And uh, for the instantaneous, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as um, a, a time delay of 0 0.02. By clicking on OK, and let's go ahead and add the same relay to the to the, my existing star view. What I can do is again shift, hold on to my shift button, and move this over and it will drop my relay in here. Now notice that my relay curve is not shown right now in my TCC and right on this toolbar on the side uh, star is giving me an alert view. I can click on this alert view and it will pop up an uh, alert summary that shows me what are the conditions. Now this alert view is provided for your convenience to know what are the status of some of the elements on your TCC and what are the alert or messages are really two say two levels of priority messages are basically for information purposes only what we want to pay attention to are the alerts and there are two alerts being issued one is star alert 01 which it says relay one the face ct is not specified and it also says that the ground ct is not specified there are other messages just telling you that you have disabled the fault clipping values into star so if i was to double click on this star message it will take me to the element, it will take me to the specific page which is the input page of Relay1. Now since we have added this relay onto the one line diagram without connecting the CT, we have two options. We can A, add the directly the CT information directly to the relay editor um, um, as shown here. So I can click in here and type in 200 to 5 for my phase and if I want to use my ground also I can do the same and let's say I select 50 to 5 and once I do this the relay curve will show up I'm gonna go close this it also it has both function phase and negative sequence curves what I can do is first I'm gonna delay, um, disable my negative sequence and look at my phase and notice the program is also auto scaling this um, uh, TCCs to give you the best view possible for viewing both curves so here's my relay one P for phase and uh, the level for that relay which is OC1 and has the overcurrent and instantaneous section which I can again adjust the instantaneous pickup and time dial as same as the time dial on the overcurrent and the pickup on overcurrent and since I have the ranges on it also shows me the entire range in gray if I don't want to see the range I will turn that off um, another way to do this is to go to my one line diagram and if I wanted to actually connect the CT to this I would connect the CT and connect that directly to my relay. Now here, what I have to do is go to the CT and specify a CT ratio directly from here. Now that's my face CT and let me go ahead and since these elements are not connected to anything they shown as de-energized, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my continuity check off, off. So now I have a CT connected to this relay. Now I can drop the CT into here or I can simply since this element already knows it's connected to a CT I can go into here and go to my input page and it shows a CT CT9 being connected to my phase and ground terminals with it shown as gray and that means that basically that CT is externally connected so you have two means of doing this either connecting it with the actual CT or without the CT so those are some of the finer points in the relay but let's f move on move along with actually building a one-line diagram here 
So if I was to build a one line diagram uh, with including some relay, what I can do is select the same relay, um, bring it up here and let me just connect it to the one line diagram, drop a transformer, I can drop, uh, just make a simple system with a lump load connected to it and notice the program automatically provides me uh, a connection here let me zoom in here so there's a node that is being connected you want to change that node to a bus simply do that so now it's a bus 4 here's my information on my transformer I would want to fill out so I would go to my rating page and let's say we type in uh, 4.16 we're going down from 34.5 um, and we put a 4 MVA transformer with typical data and here for the transformer we have a quite extensive information about the short circuit information that if you run the short circuit study will you could get the system impedance on the primary or secondary side or you can specify your own um, impedance information for the system side now typically you only do that for category 3 and 4 devices uh, transformers uh, frequent or infrequent case uh, fault um, shift factors for ANSI standard and inrush curve or inrush points. Now inrush curve was a new feature that we added to 5.5 version. So with that, that's basically what we need to specify. Uh, for my lump load, I'm just going to put a size in there and uh, basically leave it as a constant KVA and constant impedance load. So let me zoom back out. So here's my information and what I can do is take this relay and this transformer and go to my star view and create a new star and I really haven't sized this um, transformer or this CT for this transformer so notice here what I have is I have the transformer and the relay curve and they're crossing each other obviously I have a potential problem here because I got the knee point connected to here so what I can do is change my transformer or my actually you can change your transformer so you can change your relay pickup and bring it up to the point such as here um, you can all you can also you have an issue with the uh, this mechanical damage point that is uh, might be crossing this point. But what you what we're showing on the transformer is the transformer damage curve and the inrush point, and in addition to the full load amp marker. And this transformer includes both the overload section, the thermal section, and the mechanical section. The overload section is something that you might not typically show on your TCC, but you have the option of turning that off, which will basically what would you would do is you right click here and you would say plot option. You click se select plot options, and uh, you can go to the preference tabs and disable the show overload. And basically, you can show only the, the thermal and the mechanical portion of the curve. So that's basically how you would do a, a simple one-line diagram uh, and attach that to your star. You can have as many stars as you want. So you have a star view that you can go back and forth between your existing stars. These are some of the smaller uh, resolution ones that I've created for my star views. And uh, you can see basically the different stars that you can have. You can close them at any point or you can delete the stars by purging them. Now let, let me spend a little bit of time discussing this information. There are tools provided which if you have used STAR you already are familiar with them. You can minimize your uh, or make your one line diagram uh, smaller or larger depending on your choice. Independent of your TCC you can fit it to a corner or select the size with your preferences. Um, you have the option of zooming the entire STAR or minimizing it. You can fit it to page. So at any point you can change the look uh, of the star view. Uh, you pro are provided with the, a grid in current and voltage which you can set to auto scaling and auto scaling what it basically does it comes up as I mentioned to the, the base, best current and best um, um, best current and voltage ratio. You can also double click on here and if you choose you can override that by any value you want. Um, so if I wanted to type it as 12 kV it basically uses a fixed uh, specific, user specified current multiple or KV as shown here. Um, the, and if I go auto scale it comes up with the best voltage and current based on the logic we put in there. Um, of course by the way the question that came up the CT polarity can be used and you see that CT polarity marker so if you want to switch that use a directional relay the program also includes that for you based on the polarity of the CT. 
Um, there are 